I'm ready to go now, so, you know, the next week, one more spa and, yeah, I'm there and it's, yeah, the week of my life. I never left the gym. I boxed in October and I was straight back in the gym in October. For me, it's, it's bigger than, you know, a fight day. It's, it's about getting better, so I didn't box them, but I've got even better in that process, so, yeah, it would be a different Ellie Scottney in the room. In her seventh fight, she's fighting for the world title. It's uh, pretty mad. There's not as much depth in the female boxing, professional boxing, so it's just a massive golf and class. You know, you're either going from like very winnable fights into extremely competitive fights. But from what I've seen in the gym, yeah, she's um, excelling really quickly. Um, she can hold her own. She was uh, overholding her own with Michaela Mayer, who's a good few weights above her. We needed a few championship scheduled fights. Um, in the professional ranks she's had now, so yeah, let's roll the dice and let's, let's get the world title. I'm ready to show everyone exactly what level I am. I think she's building self-belief, or just in the gym as well, every day the way she's performing, sparring, so getting, getting guys in, a couple of different guys, a couple of different girls, so just doing loads and loads of rounds, so the self-belief definitely should be there, um, but just going, going out there and having the self-belief under the lights. I must have been about nine years old and I used to sit on my, you know, my cousin's floor watching a dodgy stream of a packet of Skittles watching pro boxing. So for me, that was the first sort of, you know, what I was introduced to. It was never look at the amateurs. It, was, it wasn't anything else but, you know, being a world champion. And yeah, next weekend will be the start of that. I'm fighting Shanika Johnson, the IBF world champion. I've been preparing for her for a long time and, you know, she's a champion and a legit one, so she's physically strong, she, she boxes in phases, got a good jab and, yeah, she can mix it at both ranges, so I know I've got to be on my game, but I'm prepared to be. I think the, the activity that she's been in the gym all the time has really just helped her out, helped her, her preparations out, sharpened her up. Just minor percentages throughout the year and she's, uh, she's flying and her sparring's gone amazing, so no niggles, no injuries, no cuts, so um, really, really happy and her weight's in a good place as well. As soon as the bell goes, yeah, i just got to be on it and for every second it's about being disciplined. I just know what level I am and I feel like next weekend I'll show everyone else what level that is. I know I've had six fights, but if you look at the depth I've been willing to take as soon as I turn over, I feel like that's what will separate me, I've took the right risks. At, you know, earlier than many people have, and I haven't had no gimmicks, so I feel like that experience, it, it will show. Cool. Okay. Where I'm from is a big part of it, you know, why I do stuff and a big part of my character, so to do it on my own turf and in front of, you know, my people, it, it's even more special. 14 days, yeah. Two world champions, that'd be cool, wouldn't it? Chris was a three to one or four to one underdog, but Ellie's going into this fight, I think, as a favorite. So the way that they've both applied themselves, we've got a, a circuit going on at the moment called a world champs circuit. Um, and this is her last one coming up now. So um, the fact that she's, you know, she's threw herself into this training camp, she's been preparing with one of her really good friends in Chris, um, side by side throughout, throughout the whole year, both aiming towards winning a world title. Uh, one's achieved it, the other one has to go out there and do it in, in a matter of days. Oh, perfect. Yeah. There's been so many stalls in my career where something hasn't happened and I think, ah, oh, but I've always had the faith that it happens at the right time for the right reason and, and that will be the case. So, But um, my brother, <laughs> he's my Uber driver, he's, he's everything. So my brother, you know, this is his dream. And um, yeah, my nan as well, my mum, so the list goes on. We've got a big family, so yeah, it's more than just me. I'm looking at this as almost, it's almost like your debut again, isn't it, on the world stage, so everything I've done, it, it doesn't matter now because this is, this is the moment that matters more than anything, so that's all I'm focusing on is, is yeah, next Saturday, June the 10th. And the new.